Hello, happy Monday? Is this on? It is on. I have this thing here that says turn mic on. Do I? Not always. I have a full face of new makeup to try and I'm so excited. Some of these things like this one, the Lisa Eldridge, which it looks peculiar, but we're gonna be trying this on. I've had this for like a week and a half. I've been in New Orleans, I've been gone. I have the new Fenty highlighters, I have new ColourPop, the Say Concealer, the Rare Beauty blush. I have it all. We're gonna do a full face. I put a blue dress on because we're gonna do blue today. If you haven't been here before, I'm 40 years old and I still love color. You can't tell me that I am too old for color. We are definitely doing that. So we are gonna do something blue today. And hopefully we're gonna enjoy it. Hopefully it's gonna match this. Oh, is it blowing up until storm again? We had hail in Austin yesterday and it was wild. Like it was wild. I thought like this is the end of the world. Wild. I'm super excited and grateful to let you know that today's video is sponsored by You Like. This is the world's most advanced IPL treatment. It's a hair removing technology that you can use at home. You don't have to go to salons all the time and pay a lot of money. You can do it in the privacy of your own home, which is really important for me. And it's also a super advanced and fast and safe way of removing hair at home. So I've been using the You Like Air 10 for a bit now, and I'm still not in the full, I haven't done the full circle where I'm actually like, hair free, but I've been trying it long enough so that I can actually tell you that you can see results really quickly. In my before footage, you can see that I definitely have hair on my legs. It's definitely there. It's definitely present. But of course, since I am a somewhat, of course, not this natural blonde, but I am a natural blonde. So my hairs are not super, super dark, but I have been wanting to try something like this out. And when you use it for a bit, hair will like remove and you just need to upkeep so that the hair doesn't grow back. And I can already tell you after using it for a bit that it grows back softer and thinner and I cannot wait to keep using it. Let's do a quick backstory why I decided to work with an IPL like a home laser hair removal treatment and it is kind of simple for me. I suffer a lot from eczema. I have very, very sensitive skin when it comes to stuff like that, especially on my feet and on my legs. I get eczema very easily. And if I shave my legs, I get eczema. And it's not the, you know, I tried all the creams, all the solves, every, I've tried everything. So I thought that this would be perfect for me to try out so that I can have smooth and hair-free legs as well without going through literally scratching myself until I bleed. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I have bruises on my legs because I've been scratching my lips, legs so much. So I've been wanting to try something like this. So when they reached out, I was like, this is perfect because this is exactly what I'm looking for. And I can tell you after using it for a bit, someone again that have very sensitive skin on my legs, I have no irritation, no eczema, nothing like that. And it's really, really, I'm so excited to have this and to try it out. And this is a new technology. This has dual lights in here, which makes it a little easier to work with and it's just more effective. It also has a cooling system in here. So it feels very cooling on the skin when you use it. There's no irritation, it just feels really nice, honestly. It's like a home spa treatment. I have been very into using this. And also it has a mode where you, it's like, goes continuously, but only when it's touching the skin. So you see that when I'm using it, you can use it and just go on your skin back and forth to cover the whole area. And it feels cooling and it just keeps flashing the light without you having to press all the time, which makes this extremely easy to use. It's fail proof. And in the package, when you open it, they send you everything you need, the cord instructions, all of that. And they also actually send you like some sunglasses because you should be like protecting your eyes when you're using a device like this. And they also send you like a little razor in there because you do need to have like, you can't have hair on your legs when you're using it. And I love that this package just came with absolutely everything. And I cannot wait to keep using this so that I eventually can just ditch the razor and not have to deal with itching my actual legs off. So if you're like me and you've been looking into doing some laser treatment in the salon, this is the same technique, same flat head, same technology, same wavelength that they're using in a salon. You just can do it at home, save a lot of money, do it when you have time for it, put down your own schedule, which is something I'm a busy, I'm a busy person. And since this is so quick and efficient, it's like, 
five, 10 minutes and I'm done and I'm loving it. You like also has a 90 day return policy. If it's not the right fit for you, you can always reach out to them. And they also gave me a discount code. So if you're interested in checking this one out, all the info is going to be down in the description box. Thank you again so much, you like for letting me try this one out and for sponsoring this video. This is something that I've been eyeing myself for a really long time. So I feel like the stars are really aligning and I will keep you posted on how this one works out for me because I got to tell you, I cannot wait to be itch free. Starting with some, what Samantha would call fun water. Although I will say this flavor, not so fun, not that fun. Okay. Tell me this does not look like a little sex toy. Like this looks like you twist it and it starts to vibrate. I got the shade T8 and I have not swatched this. I have not opened this. I don't know if this is indeed my shade or not. That seems promising. I am, you can see, you can see that I am like lighter in my face than I am on my body. So I need something that's a hint darker on my face. So everything matches. That looks like it can be good. Doesn't really have a, I was going to say a flavor. How would I know? Well, to be fair, I don't know. Maybe it has a flavor, but it doesn't really have a scent. It's definitely light coverage. I really, really like the uh, foundation that Lisa Eldridge had. It's been a while since I used it though. I should dig it out and use it. You know, every time I'm, like, I'm not like reviewing a foundation, I have an older foundation in front of me that I'm like an oldie but a goodie that I keep using right now. It is the original HD Makeup Forever. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. It's a really nice one. I even brought it to Charleston. Really, really like it. You can see this is very light coverage. It is not covering up some of my like imperfections and some of my like discoloration, but it's definitely evening out the color. I'm using a sponge because that is what I prefer when it comes to like skin tints because I want to keep it light coverage. Sometimes I use a brush if I want to get a little bit more coverage, but today I'm really feeling the light coverage vibe in my forehead where I have no discoloration. That looks really, really beautiful. Really stunning. Let's see if we can build it up just a smidgen more. Ooh, does it say shake before use? Did I do that? I don't know if I did that. I don't know if I did that. Let's see. Let's see if it's different. It comes out exactly the same like the consistency. Maybe I will get a little bit more pigment like this. Maybe that's a good thing because I just want a little bit extra pigmentation in this area. The rest is like fine, honestly. To be fair, I probably could be that person that only does a little spot concealing because most of my skin is relatively smooth, somewhat pore free. There's no like discoloration. It's just a little bit in this area and a little bit on my cheeks, but that's usually covered up with like highlighter and bronzer and stuff like that. So maybe I could save on a product like that. I wanted to call it lucky, but I don't know if luck is the right word. Maybe I could be budget babe, budget babe with no foundation, but I also love doing my makeup. I love the transformation. I love putting all the products on. Like I do my makeup because I think it's fun. Not because I think I need it, not because I think I'm pretty with makeup or that I'm not pretty without makeup. I look fine without makeup. I look perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I go without makeup a lot, but I only do my makeup when I like feel like it. And when I have the time to sit down with it, I'm using the new concealer by say, this is the slip tint Rad radiant <gasps> all over concealer on the website. They have that other concealer from Say, and I really disliked it. It was super sheer. And even though it was sheer, it was like dry. So it was like no coverage and it looked dry. It was just a really, really weird consistency. I got this one in number eight. Let's see again. I haven't opened and swatched any of this. I think that could be a good shade. I do have some dark circles and I want to cover up here. I also have a little bit of a breakout here. It's healing. So it's just a little red. Honestly, I think the rest is like, let's keep it like that. I have not slept. I have not slept since before New Orleans. 
I also have, I forgot to use this in the get ready with me that I was doing about um, the creator friends that was, it was like on Thursday. But these are the new brushes from Sigma. And even though I own a brand that sells brushes, I still love Sigma brushes. And they're releasing some new ones and I want to try them. And they do have a concealer brush in here that is not the same shape as my concealer brush, but it's the sa in the same ballpark. This one has more of a triangular shape almost, or like a, a romb. Diamond? What would you call it? Romb in Swedish. I have no idea what to call it. I will say I think my concealer brush has more bristles, but that doesn't mean that this one isn't a good product. That blends out really good. I don't think that this concealer is the most full coverage I've ever seen in my life, but it definitely has coverage. And I mean, I can tell already that I like it more than that other concealer that they had. I think that was more like a brightening concealer, but it was just so weird. It just didn't really do anything for me. So let's get some of the dark circles somewhat camouflaged until I actually can get a full night of sleep. That does look good. I will say it is full coverage, but not the most like, like it's not shape tape, but still like it covers what it needs to cover. It also did cover that discoloration that I had from the pimple that I had that's healing. Okay, you know what? That do be looking really good. Before I go in with powder, before I go in powder, I wanna use the new bronzer stick by Too Faced. This one is in Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick in Chocolate Souffle. This one smells, oh, it smells so good, I wanna eat it. It smells like chocolate oranges. It's like chocolate covered, you know that chocolate that is the orange taste with the, wedges it looks like an orange you know what i'm talking about it smells like that and it smells like i can't believe how good this smells there is no difference between this and actual orange flavored chocolate it smells so good it smells so good maybe this one this is an angled cheek and i think i'm gonna take it from this one because i am wearing a tint oh that is emollient because i'm wearing a tint i don't want it to go overboard and as you could see that was very emollient oh this is a nice brush okay wait this blends two-faced two-faced look at you Oh, this is nice. It comes in four different colors, and this is color number two. The lighter color is a little bit more cool toned, and I don't like that on my skin, so I chose the medium one. Oh, it smells so good. I'm sorry, but it smells so freaking delicious, and I just want to eat chocolate for lunch. I'm an adult. I can do that, right? A little bit on my forehead, because the sun would most definitely hit me here. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose and I like to do a little bit down here to like get this one to like sink in a little bit because I have a very wide head. <laughs> that looks so good. That looks so good. I think I'm just gonna use my own poof, um, the Cinch Beauty poof and I'm gonna use just the powder from NYX and I, I'll link everything down below in case you're wondering and I'm just gonna set my t-zone and do my brows because I have not a new like I don't have a new brow product to try and then we can dig into this one I am so excited to see if this rare beauty highlighter blush situation because it is literally so glowy that it's like a colored highlighter I want to see how that looks on my skin because I love a glowy cheek I want to have a mirrored wet shiny cheek and I am I'm excited okay so there are three more brushes in this set this this one that's a little angle probably really good for like foundations it's very very uh, dense and the bristles are really short on this side there is like a little paddle brush like this that is a little pinched it's a little big for me to use under my eyes but I do think it would be a nice like a 
a bronzer brush if you want something that's a little bit more precise that's like a little airy and pinched and then it is this one and i think a lot of people will enjoy this a lot of brands have been doing brushes like this do you want me to do a brush like this i feel like this one is really pretty it is a little maybe slim but they say that this one is for powder for me this is not the perfect powder brush but it is a really good uh, like a cream cream on the cheek brush we're not using any creams today but I feel like this would be a really nice like cream highlighter, cream blush kind of situation. But we are going to be using the Rare Beauty blush today. This one is in Joy. This is the one I bought myself. I also did get the PR package after I already made the purchase. And I do have all of them. But this one is the one I swatched. And this is the one I picked out for myself. And we are going to be using that one. And I think I will be using the brush that Rare actually sent. I don't know what this one is called. It doesn't have a name. But it also is slanted and it's like a little dual fiber almost. You can see that it's very like airy at the end. So let's see if we... Oh, this one picks up. If we use this one... Oh, that is pretty. But... Oh, that is... Okay, this one picks up a lot of product. Like if you want a little bit more of an intense result. But I do like it. But it is a little... It picks up a lot. That's what I'm trying to say. But it blended out really good. And you can see when it hits, it almost looks like a highlighter, but there is a blush color underneath. So it is very glowy, but it is also like slightly highlighter-esque. I mean, you can see the shine in here, but that is really pretty though. I do like formulas like this. I really do. Oh, my under eyes are looking. I don't think it's the concealer. I think it's the lack of sleep. Okay, I did try these. I'm not going to pick both of them out of the packaging. The new highlighters from Fenty, I did swatch these in the uh, Sephora VIB haul sale. I had a haul and that one was live last Monday. I think today is the last day of the sale if you want to buy something with a discount. I will leave my link down below. I did buy both of these. I bought it in Prosecco and I bought it in Yum Rum. Mine came broken though, so I'm filming this before the sale is over. I'm just gonna head into the store. Mine is like really broken and I am gonna exchange mine. Because I'm not, I'm not paying. These are like $40 each and they swatch beautifully, but I'm not... I'm not keeping something that is that broken. I'm going to be using my own brush. And you can see this one picks up beautifully. And I think just from swatching these, this is Yum Rum. Did I say that? They do give a really nice glow. And they have an undertone that just melts into the skin if you can get your right skin tone. Clearly, I bought two because I couldn't choose. But I like that. I'm putting this on top and now my cheeks are really glowy. But like I said in the beginning, I love that. I love a glass cheek. So for me, this is stunning. Look at that. Oh, that is, that is nice. I'm going to use a little bit of highlighter up here. This Yum Rum will look even better on me, I'm sure, once I get even more tan in the summer. I always talk about my summer tan, but I love reading outdoors by the pool oh that is pretty i'm so sad that mine is broken but that gives me a i was gonna say reason an excuse let me see if i can put this back on because this is a little bit of a mess it gives me an excuse to head in to a sephora and get these exchanged and maybe i can look at some other things too <laughs> I'm excited. I'm going to use some new lip products. I bought these myself from Colourpop. I am having a goal. 2024 is the year that I am trying each and every release from Colourpop. I'm going to review all of it. And at the end of the year, I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to let you know which were the best and the worst releases of Colourpop of the year. So this is the new So Juicy Plumping Gloss Balm. And I think it's a plumping... Plumping Lip Liner. These have mint and ginger in them, and it makes me a little worried <laughs> because I hate something that is like chili plumping, but I love something that is like cooling, like minty plumping. So we are going to see. Do you remember me trying the Too Faced Lip Liners? Those are so painful. So I got two different shades. Let me see what shades I got. I got, ooh, I cannot read. I got Tease and jaguar and they are 
pretty similar. One is lighter, one is darker. And I got the lip balms in PSL and Doe. So we're gonna see which one is the right one. PSL is definitely a bit darker. Do I want that? Maybe we'll do the lighter one because I'm gonna, like I said, do a blue eye look. And this is the Doe one. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, let's do Doe. And then I'll do the lighter lip liner, the one that was called Tease. Do you know what this smells like? It smells like a spicy mint, which is alarming, alarming. Oh, that is a very creamy texture, almost too creamy. This is like a lipstick in a slim component. It's very creamy. If you like a creamy lip liner, this might be for you. We're gonna see how the finish is. I like something that's a smidgen more waxy slash dry than this, but the color is stunning. Yeah, it's a little bit too creamy for my liking. I accidentally got some under my nose, which is not where it's supposed to go. So for me, this formula, some people will love it and I'm sure I'm gonna use it because of the color. It's one of those formulas that's a little hard to be precise with because of how creamy it is. And also because of how creamy it is, you are gonna use this one up quickly. I don't feel any tingle or like hurting sensation so far, but we'll leave this on before we use the other one just to see if there's any unwanted sensations <laughs> in this one. A lot of you were saying that even though I stop with my monthly hauls, because I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do the monthly hauls in the format that I've always been doing, you still wanted me to talk about my Scentbird because I do work with Scentbird every now and then, but I'm actually a Scentbird subscriber and I do get my monthly fragrance. So I thought maybe I can just include my monthly fragrance in one of these like trying on new makeup because it is new to me. This is from Jo Loves and I chose the Ebony and Cassis. I love the scent of Cassis. It's one of my favorite like berry fruity notes. I feel like there's something mysterious about Cassis. You had never heard that before in your life. This is the first time you've ever heard Cassis be called mysterious, but I love that. And I do love a woody note, but sometimes they can be a little bit too much. I thought that this was gonna be a little bit more of a spring fragrance. I've already tried this one. Let me actually put some on, but this is, okay. I thought that this was gonna be me walking in a fruit garden, smelling the cassis. There's a little bit of wood under note. That is not what this is. This is more jammy, it is darker. This is you sitting in front of a fire with expensive woods, having a fancy piece of toast in the fall time after a long walk outdoors. It's like jammy toast in front of a very expensive fire. That's what this is. This is way more fall time than I thought it was gonna be. With that being said, it is a fantastic fall time fragrance. It's just not gonna be something that I reach for now in the spring and summer. But I'll save this for fall because it is a very cozy jam toast. It does not make sense. While we wait for this lip liner to do its thing, I will say so far, can't feel anything. Let's talk about the palette from ColourPop. This is the So Elemental palette. And like I said, I did buy this one myself. The, the packaging is stunning, very beautiful. It has this pull thing and it has like some matte, shiny, metallic elements. Mine has some loose debris inside, but I still feel like it, it looks really beautiful. And the thing that caught me when I opened this one is that, oh, this is a blue palette with a pop of a taupey gray. This is not a neutral palette with a pop of blue. It is way more blue than I thought. We have one neutral, one neutral, one neutral, and I would say maybe a silver. The rest is blue leaning, but it's more of a toned down, think the blues in the Twilight palette. I don't think they're dupes though, but they're definitely that gray leaning blues. But I mean, this is a blue, this is a blue, this is a blue, this is a blue, this is very a blue leaning silver. And I'm excited to be trying this out. I think we're gonna start with this one. Okay, I feel a little bit, a little. Have you tried the makeup by Mario, the plumping sticks? They have like this little, little tingle that's more like a tickle than it is like, you know, the stabbing, this actual stabbing in the lips. This is the tingle. This is the tingle for sure. And I can live with the tingle. 
that I can live with. Is this gonna dry down? Not fully, but definitely somewhat. Okay, let's do the lippy and then I can do a little bit of eye primer, still using the Sigma one. No, you can't see anything. This is my favorite. This is an Ignite, which is a beige with a yellowy undertone. They also have a beige with a pinky undertone and they have one that is darker as well. So if you're looking for something else. Okay, this is a clicky. Okay, let's see if this is one of those that are more like NYX, which is a little bit firmer, or if it's, it's the tart ones or like the elf and tart ones that is very smeary and a lot comes off. Hmm. I would say that this is in the middle. This is, you can see, it's not as smeary as the tart, but it's not as firm as the, the thing. Maybe they are as smeary as the tart. Yeah, I definitely use too much. That's a, that's a mistake on my part. This is also supposed to have the ginger and the mint. And this doesn't smell, maybe it's the perfume. That's like, I feel like the lip liner smelled more spicy mint than these, but it could be that like the perfume is taking over. Looks pretty though. I think I still prefer the, I prefer the NYX ones. I just don't prefer the colors of the NYX ones. I would have liked this color in the NYX one. Color is stunning. That is a beautiful color. It's like a muted milk chocolate. Not pink, not peach, but also not gray. It's beautiful. Okay, so this is the shade Calm Down. Like, look on the skin. Okay, also remember, like I said, my undertone is a little bit more golden and also this primer that I use has a little bit of a yellow undertone. So of course, some of these shades, when I put like a yellow on, it's gonna look more like a neutral. And when I put a blue on, it's gonna look more blue because I don't have blue in my undertone. But if you are more cool tone, this might lean a little bit more gray on you. But on me, I mean, we can all see. That's a blue. I'm going to do one of my favorite techniques, which is that I, I call it the blob. The blob. I put a blob of a darker color out here and then the entire inner half of my eye, I keep a light. So it really just lifts the eye up and just, just makes everything for me look very nice. I have slightly downturned eyes and I do not have wide set eyes. If you have wide set eyes, the blob might not be the best technique for you. Just letting you know. But if you have somewhat like your eyes is starting to age a bit. Maybe you have a little bit of downturned eyes. Maybe you need your eyes to be lifted. Maybe they're very close together. The blob, the blob is here to help. And I'm just pressing this on. I'm using my own brush. This is an EO6. And I'm just pressing this down, getting the shape I want slightly lifted. And then just blend the edges a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, just a little bit like that. And then we're gonna do a darker color as well. I'm gonna go into this, it is like a almost blue leaning, I don't know what to say, maybe it's because of the background, but there, it is like a dark brown, but it's almost like, it's almost like blue in there. Yeah, that might be like just a really, really, like such a dark blue that it's like, almost coming off as like an almost black brown. And I'm gonna use a little bit of that. I'm using an EO5 and I'm just doing a little bit. You can see on the lash line, I call it the wedge, the blob and the wedge. <laughs> wow. Just a little wedge and then out to the outer corner and just blending out the edge. So you can see it's just a little bit of darkness there. And the wedge is just going to come out a little bit like that. And then we go back to the one that we had before and we just soften this up. I'm just dotting and a small drag. And I'm going to do a little bit more of that like blue on the edge. Clean that off my Sigma color switch. And that is, that is the blob. There we are. I'm gonna do a little bit on my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna try and concentrate a little bit. I have this EO7, I'm gonna clean it off because I had some yellow on it. And I'm gonna do the dark color closest to the lash line. 
and I'm gonna do it a little further in. I'm gonna do two thirds instead of half. And then the exact same lighter blue just underneath, blending it out. You can see it like it really helps to lift and sculpt the entire situation. And a little bit more of the darker one to just balance everything out, making sure that it's connected. That's it. This one is one of my absolute favorite formulas that ColourPop does. This is a pastel with shimmer in it. And it's like a pastel bluish gray. So we're gonna do this one and I'm doing this on E1 and I am pressing this on the inner part of the lid and also on the inner part of the crease. Because when you carry the lid color above the crease, you can see I clearly have a fold here, clearly have a hood, but if you carry the color on top of the fold, it kind of almost hides it. And it makes it look like you have less hooded eyes and that your lid is actually bigger and like lifted. And then I just gently buff and blend it upwards and I meet with the other blue that I have going on. Oh, and we need to do a little bit on the lower lash line, the inner one third. And of course the inner corner. That looks stunning. Let me take the excess off and just brush upwards and downwards just to soften that up. What you can do and what I sometimes do is that I put a shimmer in between here. You can keep it matte. This is matte with just a little shimmer particle, but you can do a little shimmer. You can do a darker one. You can do a middle one. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's like an iridescent blue. Like you see, it's an iridescent blue and I think we are, Oh, that is so pretty. That is so perfect with this look. We're just gonna tap a little bit where they meet and you can see it just creates this blue iridescence that just helps with the transition between the two shades and just gives something extra. I might even do it on this and spray it so we can get it even more intense. Spraying is always the answer because I had a matte under but I really think that this is enough. But let's spray and just put this in between. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. That was a good choice. And since this is an iridescent, whatever you put this on top, it's going to pick up what's underneath. So it's going to look a little darker out here and a little lighter over here. And we're also going to go back with the small brush with the dark color. And we are going to go back and intensify that wedge so we don't lose that. And there it is. There's the look. Stunning. Also lips, nothing. Feel nothing. Thank you, Colourpop. So the last thing I have to try is actually this new mascara by Yves Saint Laurent. Ooh, and it is blue. I don't know if I love the applicator. Do you hear my dog in the background? Babe, is the postman here? Is it possible to do your mascara and not look like an idiot? I don't think so. I think it's like obligatory. Babe, why are we howling? Sweetie. I think the mailman is here. I'm gonna curl my top lashes and I'm hoping I'm gonna feel confident enough in this look without falsies. But we will see, so far, it really covered, coated, and really like voluminized my lower lashes. So I might like this one. We, we will see. Let's try it on my top lashes. Cause I don't have like, I kind of like my lashes. I just wish they were longer. But because I have so much space between like my eye and my eyebrow. I just wish my lashes were longer. But let's see how this turns out. I do wish it had a slightly smaller brush. But you can't have everything, I guess. I mean, it's really giving 
nice blue lashes i'm gonna have to do a couple of coats but remember i tried that one from lethal cosmetics it was just so watery i didn't feel like the color like actually stuck to the lashes it wasn't my favorite and they're coming out with more colors as well and i'm like i feel bad for them because i didn't love the formula okay this is just one layer and you know what not bad should i do the opposite side too maybe because I am trying to make them blue, I guess. Oh, no, I got some on the lid. I'll fix that. I mean, it does look pretty nice. That is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Huh. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I can see the blue. I can see the blue. I'm blue. Yo, besties, this looks so good. I'm not wearing any falsies, but I gotta say this blue, cause this is like pulling it up a bit. Eyeshadow is just pulling everything up. With the blue lashes, I look so cute. Who am I? So cute. Will say, I think you can already see it. I am starting to get glowy here in like my T-zone. And this is where I powdered and I am already, already an hour in, a little glowy. So we will see how this one pans out i always come back and i give you further reviews i mean the first impression is all fine and dandy this is fun trying out some new makeup getting an impression of it i think i like everything that i tried today my absolute favorite is the the bronzer the blush and the highlight like my cheeks look insanely gorgeous they look great Eyeshadow palette, much better than I thought. Mascara, really beautiful. Oh, and I did use in my waterline. I think this is called Royal, the Royal Color in the Nubian Eyeliners by Juvia's Place, because it is this like really bright blue color. This is a, gr this eyeliner formula from Juvia's Place is amazing. It's affordable at a drugstore. And I will say, I really, really hope they come up with more colors because they are stunning. The lip colors are really nice. I prefer a lip color that is not as goopy as this one but they're a nice, affordable option to the Tarte ones. They are a little cooling on the lips, not as cooling as the Tarte ones. They're not like stingy. They're not hurting your lips like the Too Faced ones. I mean, I like all of this. The concealer is great too. You know what I really like about the concealer? It didn't crease. So I'm gonna try this out a little bit more. And I even mentioned, remember that in the beginning of the video? I was like, oh, my under eyes are looking a little bad now. I'm like, my sleep schedule has not been the best. And despite that, my under eyes are looking pretty good. I've... This was a good haul. Everything is really nice, I will say. I'm impressed. The skin tint, we will see how it holds up. If it breaks up, if it turns too glowy. But like just now, this is looking really nice. If you're interested in any of these things, if you're like, what shade was she using? What was she talking about? Everything will be down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be subscribed. I feel like I always forget to say that, but like, if you want to be, please do. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment that really does help out a creator. And also, also, best free way to support a creator, it's watching until the very end. So thank you for being here until the very end. I will see you again in a new video that is most likely, fingers crossed, gonna be four indie palettes, four looks. I'm hoping to have that live on Wednesday. Bye.